Hey guys, it's me again, Rushta, and today I'll be reading a book to you. It's called And the Wolf Girl Into the Wild. And the Wolf Girl Into the Wild. Illustrations by Jeremy Lee. Additional illustrations by Annie G. It's a chapter book and it's my favorite book. Let's start. Chapter 1. Into the Night. June, wake up. Wake up now. My mom was shaking me hard. Too hard. Her knuckles were white as she gripped my shoulders. I felt like crying, but I didn't. Maybe because Mum's voice filled with fear. Instead, I did what I was told. I sat up. We have to move fast. They're coming. I, I jumped out of bed and pulled some clothes. It was still dark, but everyone was up. I could hear neighbors screaming, people, peep, horns beeping, people crying. I followed mom to the kitchen and watched her tip. The entire contents of my school bag onto the floor, my tin pencil case, Planned open, but Mom didn't even seem to care. I wanted to complain, but I was too afraid. Mom then filled my bag with food. Behind her, I saw Dan go out the front door with a heavy load of suitcases. Take this to your father, said Mom, handing me my school bag. I ran outside. to find Dad shoving cases in onto the car. I gave him my school bag and he flung it flung it on flung it on top of a pile in the boot. Stay calm, Joanne, he told me, although he didn't sound calm himself. He turned back to the house. Come on, he muttered, hurry up. The, a car bled its horn and swer swerved around the van and sped away. Mum and my big sister emerged from the house and ran towards our car. It was strange though, Mum didn't even stop to shut the front door. Everyone in, Dad shouted. Ken and I were worried because... Dad rarely raised his voice. We piled in on into the car and took off his night the night. As we drove as we drove out of town, the road ahead was packed with cars car with cars. Cars that were full of bags, full of people, full of kids, some younger, some older. All staring at their windows. It was like we were all going on a big group holiday, except no one was smiling. We sped along the other cars for what seemed like a very t long time. Later, the road led into the forest, winding through the banks of shadowy trees. Mom, where are we going? I finally asked. Girls try to close your Girls try to close your eyes, Mum replied. Her voice was shaky. Have a little rest. Why did we have to leave Kate? said asked Kate. Kate had just turned eleven and always and had always been curious about everything. Mum didn't answer. I looked around I looked across at Kate, who shrugged. Soon Kate piped again. Can we play that game? 
but you think of countries beginning with the different letters? Mm, not now, Kate, said Mum. I, I was relieved. I hated that game. The last time we played it, I had taken ages to think of a country Stan would be. I wasn't sure if Belgium was a country or a city. Afterwards, Dad had said to me, Jewess, you need to trust your instincts more. He was always saying that to me. Follow your instincts. As I watched Dad driving the car now, though he seemed really unsure, Kate had, must have sensed it too, because she didn't ask any more questions for the rest of the trip. Instead, we all sat in silence as we drove for hours deep into the forest, down on an down on an familiar road that seemed to go on forever. As we drove for hours, the forest dam um, I stared at the window and saw nothing but trees both trees on both sides for miles and miles. Suddenly, I heard a distant explosion. What was that? I said, Ma Ma looked across at that. I heard it again, this time a little loud. Dad stepped hard on the accelerator and the car lurched forward and even greater speed. Dad, you're going too fast. Dad, you're going too fast. Kate screeched. Shush, it's fine, snapped Dad. Normally, really calm. Dad's tone did nothing to reassure us. Then after a moment, Dad turned around to Kate. I'm sorry, honey. We just have to slam. We'd run right into the back of a truck. I hit my head against the, the back of Dad's seat. Is everyone all right? Mom screamed. Kate started crying. Is everyone all right? Croaked Dad. He turned around to check on us and we nodded frantically. In front of us, we, where we looked like a hundred cars, all stopped and lined up along the road, which wound up a dark mountain. We should have left earlier. Mum, a face white. So, this is the car and that's the truck. The distance. The distance we could hear of, of hear a series of thunderous cracking sounds. Everyone at the car now, Dad shouted. Kate and I froze. We didn't know what to do. I stared through the stared through our cracked windscreen at a big blue moon on the back of the truck. We just crashed into it. Mum also sat there quiet and still while Dad jumped out of the car and ran around the, drag, the back to drag our things out of the boots. Here's the of the pictures. Here, I'll show you all of the pictures. So we're up to that's the other picture. That's full of trees. You see this girl blushing? That's Joanne. And that's one that and the other one. And chapter one.